Last night, an unusual opportunity knocked on my door. Naturally, I was a little suspicious, but my visitor said the job was too sensitive to go through the usual channels. He claimed that an old contact of mine told him where to find me. I was about to ask him who our mutual friend was when he managed to distract me. The job is to break into Shoalsgate Station, headquarters at a city watch, and quietly frame a certain Lieutenant Hagen for robbing the evidence vault. Hagen is Sheriff Truett's number two man, and has no doubt made life difficult for someone he shouldn't have. My unusually resourceful employer has given me all the information I need to pull this off, including a very detailed map of the building. All I have to do is choose a way in, plan my route, and get back out without alerting the bulls. I realize that breaking into Shoalsgate is like looking down a Burrick's mouth with a lit match, but it would pay me enough to lay low for a while, and it doesn't hurt to be giving the police some dirty laundry to deal with either. Besides, with my luck, if I don't take this job, I could end up in there anyway. Expert. The frame won't stick if the city watch suspects you were involved. Don't knock out or kill anyone. So basically, go sit through hard. Don't knock out or kill more than two guards. Okay, well, it's not. It's. Well. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> okay. The merchants. No, the mechanists have installed an alarm mechanism in Shoalgate Station that can be triggered by either mechanical eyes or guards. Don't let them set off the alarm. Okay, we have to be somewhat careful with saving here. Because, uh, for example, if we knock someone out or someone sees us, there's going to be a significant delay before the alarm actually triggers. Go to Lieutenant Hagen's office and grab a personal item of his to be used for framing him. Drop the personal item in the vault on the third floor. Seal the strong box from the vault and leave it in Lieutenant Hagen's office. Invisibility potions. I think I'll take one. Have a scarring on. Tip one. Like it's moss arrows could be very useful. It's only water arrows. Not sure about healing potions because we can't really get into any trouble anyway. So what's the point? We have rope arrows, yeah, two. We could take a slow fall potion. I don't see the point at this point. But yeah, we don't have one. We might open up a possibility for us. Basically, go somewhere that would be death for us otherwise. Shoals Gate Utility Building. Use the drainage to get into the basement. Gate entrance. Holy detailed map. Basement. I think we're gonna deal with the map as we make progress. It's way too complicated to get a solid understanding now.
So this metal wall protects the installation. We're gonna loot these places, we need to do it before we go in. Are you actually drinking all the booze I'm collecting as food? That would explain our money troubles. Ooh. Water arrows. Not quite sure if the security systems react to us. That's two turrets and a camera on the front door. I want to know. So the answer is yes. Looks like there's some kind of party going on in here. Here at the base. Why is this here? The option to open this. Maybe it's just for create atmosphere. Maybe even well it's lava, I'm not gonna try to waste water arrows on that. This looks like the way in. <laughs> Still, this isn't a difficult dive. Which way did I come from? Not this.
Where the hell am I? Start posting an alarm. Um, don't want to go south. Probably won't want to be here either. Hello. Wonder what that Show noise. Not sure if this is a good idea to come in here, but... A bit too late to... Too late to regret at this point. Okay, at least we're on the correct level with Lieutenant Hagen's office. The bigger problem, I think, is going to be the lack of loot. I'm fairly pleased with this large room, totally dark, soft carpeting. Guard post and alarm. Ah, uh, yeah, and yeah, we can only knock down guys. So evasion is the key. What's the quick key for invisibility? Okay, we have three of those. They won't last long. So that's the last ditch effort that's a key I need it thought I saw something Job makes me jumpy. <clears throat> okay. Vice. Mm, we need to get into our room, any room, it doesn't matter. again. This is a uh, nerve wracking. The alarm it sounded were bone. Did you see? 
see that too? Yep. <clears throat> uh, nothing. Who'd be stupid enough to break in here? <laughs> It's going to be tough trying to move into this direction from here. Just the jitters, I guess. Phew. You can either come out quietly. Yep. I think we're. Who's there? Who said that? Okay, we can do this. I didn't notice earlier that there are gas lamps. Okay, work's been pretty slow these days. Between Mosley and Warren, Warden affairs, every thief in the city is out of business. Can't believe we used to try to stop crime by arresting the thieves. By attacking the bookkeepers and fences, crooks have nowhere to turn to. Besides, who is more anxious about staying out of jail? A criminal or some whiny pencil pusher? Vice Narcotics. Probably want to go to Vice Narcotics in both uh, Lieutenant Mosley's and Lieutenant Hagen's office. Maybe even, you know, the Sheriff's office is. It's not. There doesn't appear to be a door. Where exactly do. I'm not sure how you would get that. What? Oh, this place is so drafty. You've messed with the wrong man! Bad angle to shoot a arrow from.
We are still unable to make a case against Madame Bovary. Her brothel seems to be perfectly legitimate, but Lieutenant mostly believes that there is more going on there, and so do I. The likely possibility is that they are using pillow talk to extract information from their rather aristocratic clientele. I can't believe I'm saying this in a journal, but I think that the sheriff is somehow involved in this. I have seen Chuart enter there on more than one occasion. But is he a client or is he somehow working with them? All I know is that I'm not going to say a word about this to anyone, especially Lieutenant Hagen. Mostly is the most is the only one or eh, is the only one any of us can trust. Well, at least we're gathering a little bit of cash from this, but a pretty pathetic hole. Same time, since we can't really take anyone out, I think I'll settle for a more pathetic hole. It's <clears throat> Next target, yeah, Lieutenant Higgins and mostly his officers. Okay, what's the tip? A control panel in the front desk can not only open the main gates but also disable the alarm mechanism. Holy shit. Shoal gate is loaded with hidden entrances and secret levers. Don't hesitate to go through people's garbage. You never know what you might find. Hmm. Disabling the alarm. <laughs> The front desk somewhere here. Armory. Ah, front desk. Exit to main gate. Well, if we could get somehow here, it wouldn't be too tough to reach the main gate. It's only a little bit of a reach. But where exactly is that coming from? Yeah, it's this. So if we would have seen this through, then we could have uh, reached this, but. Uh, looks like nothing. I wanna know who came up with the stupid idea of no drinking on duty. That's Hello? Is that you? Show yourself. Can't be too careful. Very close to the front desk too, but letting those stay alert have talks get the best of me. Where's the light coming from in that room?
Yeah, there's definitely a connection to the alarm system here. I'm not playing games here. I don't care. You'll only hear a single noise, so you won't. Because your job is on private guard duty. That's what I know. Sure, it's just as bad as those Oops. bloody numbers. I'll take it back. Better to not create the nerves. Okay. Front disc should be pretty much right in front of us. is ready and operational. Now it will activate the alarm whenever an intruder doth approach. How does it know the difference between us and an intruder? To find the answer to that question, thou must attend the mechanist seminary and join our order. The wisdom of Karath is not for the eyes of the common man. What about maintenance for all these contraptions? Thy sheriff did insist that all information for thy security Someone help me like this thing. be left in the care of Lieutenant Hagen. Instructions are locked in thy secure records area. What secure area? The sheriff requested us to construct a records hall that only he and his lieutenants may view. Tis no doubt to keep them from the eyes of incompetence such as thee. Of course, darkness. So, I decided that that's the great, greatest place to just stay there. I want to redo this. What we want to do is basically go in, shut down the alarm, and get the fuck out. The watcher is ready and operational. Now it will activate the alarm whenever an intruder doth approach. How does it know the difference between us and an intruder? To find the answer to that question, thou must attend the Mechanist Seminary and join our order. The wisdom of Karath is not for the eyes of the common man. Say what again? Maintenance for all these contraptions. Thy sheriff did insist that Always all information for thy maintenance. security systems be left in the care of Lieutenant Hagen. All right, so how am I supposed to see what I'm doing? So. Don't let the guards or mechanical eyes sound the alarm. I don't think that's really possible at any, uh, anymore. So it's not... A, this isn't a, really a solution to anything, but... The, I think the likelihood of the, uh, things suddenly just... basically crumbling on us entirely is pretty much much lower now, because there's the, the chance of alarm is being at least reduced. I'm not sure if it affects every alarm. So, okay, Lieutenant Hagen's office. For records area. What secure area? 
Not again! Got to get some better torches! He's gonna be sorry his mother ever taught him how to read. Yeah, at least some of them will be like torches. Okay, slight distraction, but I'm hoping it'll be a smart thing to do on the long run. Okay. Lieutenant Mosley's office and Hagen's office require a key. I think we can big uh, yeah, pickpocket them. Lock pick them. Narcotics. No narcotics here. Ooh, one is. Not much, but don't think we're gonna be all that rich when we get out of here. I'm not using mass arrows simply because I'm guessing there are going to be much more desperate situations. Here we can... Visibility is already piece poor and there's a lot of carping all over the place. Unless we get really unlucky we should be okay here. Was well, it mostly? I put you in charge of handling the pagans because you are my second in command. Until now, your record has been exemplary. I don't understand why your performance has faltered. If you do not want this case to be reassigned to Lieutenant Hagen, I suggest you double your efforts to rid the city of all pagan influence. Also, it has been brought to my attention that numerous small thefts from the evidence vault have been occurring for some time now. Fire the officer that guards the vaults. The sentries can handle the security by themselves. I want you to conduct an investigation immediately. So be be it so ordered, Sheriff Gorman Truer. Secure records vault key. Lieutenant. I instructed the mechanist's brother Artis to leave you a new key. The key will open the vault as well as the secure records room and records room. Yep. It's getting harder to protect my garden from harm. So many plants die. No matter how hard I try to protect them, they still fall victim to the elements. No matter what anyone tells me, I will not uproot them and cut them down. I don't know what we are doing here anymore. Half the people I give orders to are people I arrested before. Hopefully the war will be over soon and the Baron will return. I don't think I can take much more of Truard's new age, as Hagen so often puts it. More mass and water. So this guy certainly has sympathy towards the Pagan. And has a plant in uh, her room. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't cut these down. Might give something, someone an idea that someone's been in here. So, so mostly doesn't want to go after pagans, crows, plants. 
for the end, Hagen needs to is going to take over his or her job. So they want probably the pagans or their sympathizers want evidence to get Hagen out. Seems simple enough. Let's see what I can use against our Lieutenant Hagen. Handkerchief. Classic. So often I hear the whispers of the men. What is the sheriff really planning? Why is he so intent on bringing down the pagans? Maybe the sheriff isn't the man I thought he was. The members of the city watch, watch are filled with doubt. It is my responsibility to see to it that they ignore their doubts. Sheriff Cole Gorman Truard is unlike any man I have ever worked for. He has uh, ushered in a new age, and it is up to us to support him unquestionably. If Sheriff Truard asked me to arrest my own family, I would without I would without any hesitation. Why can't Mosley see this? She always questions everything. Why can't she just follow Truard's orders? We are not supposed to think, we are supposed to follow. Now let's uh, sign up a good follower. Lieutenant Hagen, I appreciate your memo regarding the Warden Affairs Division. I have personally investigated the matter and have found no evidence to support your accusation. They have ongoing investigations on their remaining wardens and have made steady progress. They simply don't have enough of a case yet to move against them. As for the missing evidence, my search has determined that they were simply clerical errors. However, I have discovered that several thefts from the vault have recently occurred. These thefts are in no way linked to the Warden Affairs Division. I want you to find out who is responsible. Start making inquiries into the other divisions, but stay away from the Warden Affairs. Also, discuss this with no one, especially Lieutenant Mosley. Mosley's inability to handle the pagans has caused me to question her resolve. I have considered handling over the assignment to you, but given Lieutenant Mosley's excellent past record, I want to give her one more chance. Oh, healing potion. More importantly, flash bomb. can buy time in a desperate situation, or knock one out, someone out. Either way, we have what we wanted, so it's the evidence search now. Um, I'd like to see if we can get to Sheriff Truard's office. Uh, um, I, there's no sign anywhere that you could... where's the opening there? There's also the Warden Affairs, which seems like uh, it's internal affairs, sort of a cool one. No, there's a door there to somewhere, maybe that's to the Tour's office. Yeah, I'm definitely not skipping the chance to see what the hell he has in his office. Very likely at least one secret to... Can't be here when the car is. Yeah, the Herve Stewart. Warden Affairs would be a very tough place to get, though. Herve Stewart. 
I must insist that you pay closer attention to the activities of the Warden Affairs Division. I know how highly you regard their work and I readily admit that they have shown very impressive results. However, I must point out that their arrest records indicate they have been avoiding certain wardens. Whenever evidence is prese presented against those wardens, it mysteriously disappears from evidence storage, even though the station guards assure me that no unauthorized evidence leave the area. Okay. Mostly is becoming an inconvenience. Lately, she has been questioning my orders and her conduct regarding the pagans' orders on insubordination. She was always my best officer before. Why the sudden change? I'm going to give her one more chance to redeem herself. If she fails me again, I'll have to give the case to Hagen. He may not be as good an officer, but he is loyal and vicious. Not the sword to have any moral dilemmas with this kind of assignment. What really puzzles me is that she wants the case so badly. The last time I discussed it with her, I suggested she hand the case over to someone else. She assured me that she'd triple her efforts rather than let go of the assignment. So she's probably a pagan herself. She wants she wants to protect them instead of going after them. Schedule. Stakeout. Lunch at Shoalgate Tavern. Meet with LK. Meet with LZ. Appointment with Madame Bolas. Meet with LR. Is this the classic something in the fireplace? so secret anymore, is it? Where am I? Somewhere in this area. That's why it's... Ooh, it'll lead us to the Warden's Affairs. What is this? It should be somewhere here. Okay. I wasn't going to the warden of this area, but now that this little opportunity presents itself, I don't see why we shouldn't. Need to worry about not making noise. I don't think they have any visibility here. That said... Ah, it's a... Uh, a little bit to the... Really want me to buy or sell me. Pretty dig as soon as I look at you. And yeah, I don't know what is the best thing. Seriously, it so looks so much that there's a hidden door here. Rather a door. What am I not seeing? Mm. 
I'll try. Ooh, it could be something there. I'll try pressing the switch here. Maybe it closes one side, opens the other. Although I doubt it, but. Well, there's one advantage to this. We could go down the roll barrel. room yeah it just won't go to the same place shit what are we missing this does no good to us Yeah, I don't want to come here. <sighs> uh, I'm pretty sure there's a there's a way to get past that. But maybe it's a one-way street. So again, it's a way to escape from the warden's office. So special about this. I still can't figure out who the hell is robbing the third floor evidence vault. I mean, if it ain't us, then who the hell is it? All I know is that it's attracting a lot of unnecessary attention. I've told the rest of the crew to take the long way to the third floor. Hagen is already suspicious of us as it is. Even though the sheriff will keep him off our backs, I still don't want to get on Hagen's bad side. That idiot really thinks that Truard is some kind of hero. <laughs> we only knew what we knew. Uh, 
that it. Yeah, uh, I sort of case Chur isn't exactly a good guy, but... Yes, there is no secret entrance. Although... That's a classic... Wasn't totally a waste of time. Ah, back door. Ah. So, every in the storage area. We bypassed a lot of guard posts and alarms but we need to go I guess go through this way you'll need a code to shut off the mechanical guards Who the hell has the codes? The guys in the first floor talked about it. I I I don't recall. Maybe in the locker room. Well, s shit. Still. I'm not sure how... it's not exactly a mission objective, so I'm not sure how big a problem it is. Two, we have a... Uh, invisibility potion, so we might be able to get... fuck's sake. Might be able to get through it in a Just a casual look for secrets. <sighs> Mechanical faces. There's any way I can disable this. He has the key. Might have that particular key. Might not. It's the same color that we have. I don't think so. One good thing about the cameras is that they aren't gonna hear shit, so speed is the only thing that we need to consider. Looks like a different key. It's not.
Mm, these are probably just pretty much empty rooms. So you're gonna avoid the guards going through them. What is this? Bolt ante room. Grabbed a key from a guard to get him. Don't have the code. I at least don't think so. No, definitely not. Uh, we need to go to get in. Grab a key from the car to get in. Hold security. You need a court to shut down the mechanical guards. No. We need a go code to get in. That's uh that's not the same thing. <sighs> yeah, fuck me. That's the pretty different thing. Yeah, I I'm somewhat upset about that. Uh, there's no point coming here in the first place as long as you don't have the code. And it's blindly obvious if the game would actually just say it. You need the code to access this instead of just... Okay. From the front desk, we heard uh, we heard a discussion about who has the code. I have no recollection. It's not going to be on this floor, though, is it? So, who is it?
something there. So, shit. It's not going to be on this room. We pretty much are going to look at everything. First floor. Records hall. Secure records. Um. Where is this? Okay, evidence storage. Actually, we'll go here. Second floor, but could this staircase be used to go the records hall then? No, it's here. Okay. Just don't see a good way to get where we want to go. Basement is an option actually, uh, because it's fairly easy to return. Into the yard, there's no guards there, so we could just jump into the well again. Use the basement to get through. So it would allow us to pop up here, which would be actually here, right next to the record troll axis. And armor. Uh, actually, we wouldn't have to do that. That's the yard. So what we could do is just pop in from here. Yeah, best time to go up. Still, the goal is to go backwards. Officer's Lounge. Exactly, are we? Miss Hall, okay. We yeah, this might be a great place to go in here. Uh, I didn't. I think I. I think I opened this door first when I came here. That's why there was a huge amount of fuss and guards there. Mm. So, 
We want to go north and east, so... Yeah. I'm not a fan of the amount of light we have here. We pick up something from this. Apparently no. Okay. Mechanist Brother Artus has informed me that the new security measures will be fully operational tonight. A room in the records hall has been designed designated for secure records. Only the lieutenants and myself have access. City Watch Ball will be held at Truard Estate. All members of City Watch are encouraged to attend. Jump waiter in the mess hall is not a toy. Please refrain from using it for rides. One bad. Okay. Uh, hello? Anyone there? Okay. Calm down. There's nothing there. Smart man. What was that? I guess I could use some target practice. Shut the fuck up. What is this? Easy access to armory. Ah, uh, moss and water arrows, excellent. Just the thing we need at this point. Oops. Oh, we can. No, we can't open. Better not save. Nothing there. Weird. I know, right? So, line up. Main office. Probably don't want to go there. Guard post and alarm. Records hold. Can't we get some decent torches around here? <clears throat> How many moths? These things burn out faster than they used to. Jordan, that 
at you. Yeah, don't dare to speak, otherwise they could notice me. <sighs> okay, we get the... I think we, if we go into the secure records, we basically have everything we need to finish this mission at the point. Maintenance. The vault security can be disabled for minor repairs. Simply enter the proper code and then sentries will shut up. The maintenance code is 4026. I should write that down. No shit. Now, on to the vault. Name, Lady Van Vernon. Activity, frequent adultery. Threat, her husband is very jealous and easily outsmarted. If her husband discovers her infidelity, she stands to lose her comfortable lifestyle. Should Lord Van Vernon throw her out into the streets of Dayport? Use, Lord Van Vernon owns a large number of factories. Our lady could help us cut a deal with him for weapons and armor for the city watch. So oh, basically, a criminal organization, City Watch. Lord Money Ramstein, embezzling money from his business partner overseas. Threats. His business partner has two of the city's top cleaners on retainer. Use. Ramstein is a very powerful importer. By keeping him under our control, we can use him to get to larger criminal activity. Uh, do we want to go and check the rest of the records? We did save. I'm more curious just if there's a secret or something. Probably is. This looks odd, very odd. This is the main office. I think it is, so... Might as well go in, it looks like there's interesting stuff there. Le Lucy Walker. The watch officers have received a number of complaints about your harassment of the alchemist Grimad. Out of consideration for your masters, you have not been placed under arrest yet. 
please keep in mind that any further trouble may result in arrest and confiscation of property. Um, if there's something here, it's gonna be minor. Oh, just a little bit of cash. Burglary. E Park Boulevard. Burglary of carriage horses taken 800. Walking Drive, Burglary Manor, Gold Crest taken 2300. Okay. Is there anything interesting here? Not particularly. Paganism, reuse, paganism, paganism, pagan sympathy, harboring a pagan, paganism, paganism. But I don't see anything particularly interesting in those. Curiosity, how much money do we have? 524 so we're basically peace poor and I don't want to so the evidence locker it basically is going to have all the money we're going to get did we uh, Goddamn shadows here. Amusingly enough, this is actually a more secure way for us to get the hell out of here. I have no idea what is and isn't there. Would have to go through new patrols. Here, well, we might not be have a easy way out, but we know what to expect. Know the patrols. And I don't need to get all that far. <clears throat> I guess that's the important point. Then I can have a secure access to the... Where we need to go? Where exactly do we need to go? Um... Anywhere here, really. I think one of the ways we could potentially get a little bit of loot from this is basically escape to the yard and instead of getting hail out first, go to the basement. Jail and the holding cells without a doubt will have something, probably mortuary and the more too. And they're probably one of the easier more easier areas. So 
we'll see what we have once we've gone through the evidence locker areas. Yep. Foreign Affairs. I'm pretty sure still that there's a secret there, but how to open it? Don't know. I don't I don't know if moving takes their chance to see me. But it might. Very well might. How we can relight the Relight the last lights. Okay, we're pretty much in the clear now. I don't think the bolt offers much of a challenge once we disabled it. Zero to killing me. Send me a new pair of boots. I'd better do this quick. Not a huge amount, but it's something. There's the key. Leave it to Tennis Hagen's office.
Okay. I don't think I want to go into the basement and steal more stuff. The money would certainly be welcome, but even with 900, you can buy some basics. Uh, all the fancy, expensive stuff is out of the question, but we didn't exactly need it here either. And here we were had the limitation that we couldn't take anyone out, and we still managed to do it fairly well. So, well, it was an actual limitation, but we tried it; it worked. Where's Hagen's office? Hagen's office... Yeah. Should be no trouble. Not quite sure what's the best way to get out, though. Um, what I mean is I'm not sure if the way we came in is... Uh, hmm. Push your job on private guard duty. That's what I know. Sheriff's just as bad as those blue bloody nobles. Except he doesn't even know how to kick back and take it easy. No napping on duty, no short walking patrol. office time to go <sighs> leave Shoals Gate station We could just walk uh, out the front door to be honest at this point. <sighs> Exit to main gate. Yeah. Hmm. Might be the easiest way. At the same time. Be an amusing thing to do.
well, there wasn't all that much loot left anyway, but still, uh, I think the basement would have probably gotten most of that. Very nice mission, very nice mission. Um, strict limitations on what you can do, but at the same time, certainly you have the tools and the means to actually get to it without too much fuss. And what I, I like more most about that is that, I, I mean, properly you can get through it without trying to do some trial and error crap. Yeah, very nice. Three missions, and every every one of them so far has been a solid mission. Much better record than the first deep game. We'll see if it holds up.